painting an engine blue. Blue, but it's blue, blue. Blue, blue. Blue, blue. Start dabbing away. And like this. Is I am gonna hide this beer in my throat. It's gonna help that cure paint. Help that paint cure. You ready, Ed? Three quarters of a beer. I yeah. believe something got delivered. As far as these go. As far as shit fake supercars. It's shit and fake and not a supercar. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. Look at beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car. Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Make or Break. On this episode of Make or Break, we're painting an engine blue. You sure it's gonna be blue? Blue, but it's blue, blue. Blue, blue. Blue, blue. Um, guys, uh, as we saw in the last episode, do not shake this, mix it, stir only. So I've used this paintbrush for stirring instead of painting. We do have stirrers. Right, guys, we have completely made sure the engine is completely clean. We have been to town with it. Um, one thing I will say, we do need to put something in here. Yeah, I was just looking um, Guys, your distributor hole is crucial. That is very, very tight. Uh, you need to make sure that you put something in there to keep it clean. But everything else is completely masked up now. Um, we are... Yeah, everything's masked, everything. I'm actually blown away. George has done a brilliant job finishing that off. Um, we've got a clean brush and we have, it's water based as paint guys, so um, it doesn't matter too much. And Josh has been spending money too on core plugs. I'm hoping that we're gonna get a core plug that will fit in there with a bit of masking oh. tape around it. What about a bit bigger? Ah. The reason why you don't go a bit bigger is because you'll keep might bang up the you. paint and have trouble getting it back out. I put the masking tape somewhere safe. You put it somewhere safe, haven't you? I've stored it under B1N. Bubweiser. Mm, do you want one? Yeah. There is a tactically placed box of them. That, believe it or not, your father bought here. Oh, that's handy. Mm -hmm. Right, so guys, what we're doing is using a core plug just to fit nice and snugly in the distributor hole so we can obviously paint around that, pull it out, and it'd be nice and clean. There are no threads anywhere that we're going to need to paint today, so that's good. Um, actually, that was a Sam lie. There is one thread. Well, what I normally do um, is do my best to paint around them, put a little bit of paint on them, and then if anything uh, does get down in there, if any paint does get down in there, I just want to attack with the same yeah, thread yeah. down in there That's and just cool. clean them all out, it's easier. Just going to make a little cone of masking tape, I'm just going to plod that in the hole as well. Mask cone tape. It's like you know what you're doing, Mr. It Wilson. is like I know what I'm doing, I just want a little bit more. It's just the masking tape gives it a little bit of something soft to, to uh, squish when you want to yeah, so Take I've just back out. plugged Take that out. hole with the thread, guys, with another piece of masking tape. So at least we know we're not going to clog that thread up, which is good. Uh, there's one more there for the oil pressure hole. And that one there is... I think there's a couple of engine mount bolt, engine mount threads yeah, as well. Engine say, that'd be fine. I just, you can let the paint go in there. We'll run, so run a tap through it afterwards, yeah? That's, yeah, that's normally what I do. I just run a tap straight through it. Not like I paint many engines in my... <laughs> in my job. There we go. Cool. Josh will be done in a minute, guys. And as I said, we've mixed it up. Make sure you stir it. Do not shake your paint. And if you've got something to wipe this off with, we're just going to leave it in there. Just leave it in there, if you like. Right. Just uh, cool. throw any cheap brushes. Right, so basically, guys, dabbing is crucial. So get your paint on your brush and then just start dabbing away. And like this. Wah, wah, wah. Thank you. I don't even have to put audio over that now. Nope. The colour is coming out really well. Good. It's a good job of painting this engine because you're going to see so much of it. <laughs> so this job will probably take you about 15 minutes. So we're going to fast forward this as we're putting our first coat on and then we're going to show you just how we got on. Just how easy it is. Roll audio. Or music. Roll the music. Yeah. <laughs> 
So guys, that's one side done, and now Josh is mixing it again. Once again, guys, do not shake, just stir. I don't know why, by the way. I don't know why you're not supposed to shake it, but um, it's just one of them things. So guys, what I'm doing is I am not worrying too much about getting paint on the masking tape. I am basically going over the masking tape to, to get it over the edges. And that's I'm, the whole idea of masking tape, Sam. It is, but you know, some people paint up to masking tape, and I'm just painting just over it, so I'm fine with that. Yeah, be fine. In all the cubby holes, nooks and crannies. Cubby holes. <laughs> Someone said, made a comment the other day about my cu cubby hole comment. Uh, about your about your use of language. Yeah, my loose. Could be worse. Yeah, I could have said fucking cubby holes. Yeah. Oh wow, this is coming up quite nice. Be a nice colour, won't it? Have we got any other things that we need to paint Ford blue? Uh, the Ford. The Ford, we're going to paint the Ford Ford blue. Ford Ford blue blue. Blue blue. So, um, once this is painted, the next step really is uh, crack shaft and pistons and rods and whatnot. Yeah, so get your crack shaft in the hole, pistons in their relevant holes. Yeah. And uh, start trying to get the thing towards looking like it's built and turn it over. So That's I've had to go back to the machine shop. Yeah, so they can measure the crank because they forgot to give me the measurement of uh, the what they ground the crank down to. So I had to go back and let them mic it up. So uh, we've got big end and main bearings on order now. So they should be here hopefully in the next few yeah. days. Once they're here, we can start fitting the crank in, putting the pistons and the rods and everything like that in. Figure out our piston rings. Yeah, and uh, hopefully start actually getting some progress. Getting, getting a, a turn in short block, you know, with the, with the crank. Yeah. Going. And the pistons in. And then we can get our sexy Simon Hicks head. Yeah, and our Larry High Lift cam. Oh, baby. And then we've got to figure out how to make it all work. Then we've got to make it go brum brum. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice if we could get some longer legs for our stand, bolt the flywheel on, and get the thing running on here? Oh. With no headers on it. Just, just spitting flames. Well, flame. Bop, 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 bop. I think let's turn this engine over. If we can, I don't want to grab the paint because I'm, I'm a real boy. Two of the same jokes in two of the same weeks. Can't really turn it over, Sam. It's not got a quake in it. Ha ha ha! I'm just going to put it on the floor. So I'm there we go, guys. One coat hasn't taken very long at all. Um, we will need to give it about 25 minutes to half an hour to cure, and then we'll pop another coat on there. Are you ready for it all to just run off and drip onto the floor? Yeah. Well, not on my boots, I hope. Oh, my boots. Did you, uh, did I little RV stump ruin your rug boots or not? No. Ah, oh, they'll live another day. Well, we need to do another stunt, don't we? So guys, what you'll notice here is the paint is, I wouldn't say thin, but doing it in nice thin coats. Um, oh, yes, yeah, so I'll tell you yeah, what, guys. Even coverage. Doing it on an engine stand is fantastic because it allows you to spin the engine and see areas that I'm, I've missed through doing it in different, different rotations. So spinning that round, Means that you can get all the underneathy bits. That's it. Get all the cubby holes that you <laughs> haven't missed. <laughs> all the nooks and crannies. Yours. Cubby holes. Right, there we go. Right, Josh, do you want to turn that one more revolution? I'll go back over, shall I? No, the other way. Keep going right. Well, this bolt's going to hit the stand, so. That's oh, be yeah, go get Okay. Um, this one? Oh, the pieces of junk that arrived delivered in my yard today. Oh, something to do with you. Yeah, so, guys, I don't want to say too much about it. But also, uh, um, guys, I've been spending. So, on another episode, you're going to get two episodes this week, I'm going to show you what I probably shouldn't have bought but did buy. So they are to do with you? Yeah. I, I figured as much. They did almost have your name written all up the side of them. Oh. Um, yeah. But I wasn't here when they got delivered, <laughs> and I got back from uh, the crack shaft place actually. There we go. To see two uh, great cars, uh, nice automobiles. Two things waiting for me. Right, let's grab the camera, show everyone what we've been doing. Painting an engine in blue paint. 
summed it up. So guys, what we've done is we've put our first coat of Ford Blue on there, which you can absolutely see is lovely. And we've got into all these areas. Guys, the core plug holes doesn't matter too much if you get a bit of paint in them, because only calling in then your nice shiny core plugs will slide into them. So on the next episode, I'll bring them with me as well. Um, we haven't done this side here because this part of the engine you it's going to be, you're never going to see it because the flywheel's all there. This side, we've done the edges all around the oil filter housing, oil pressure switch hole we have filled up, and we have, Josh has done a lovely job of masking this engine. Guys, what, I I knew what I was doing. it's like he knows what he's doing. Guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this beer in my throat and give us a 20 minute break. So, roll some music, and we'll see you in just a minute. So, guys. It's just got a bit louder in here because we realised on our beer break, getting the heater on here is going to help that cure paint. Help that paint cure. You ready, Ed? Three quarters of a beer. Turn down my throat. Guys, on that note, we'll be right back. Blue balls! Guys, we're back and we're putting another coat of paint on. Two coats is crucial. Three, four, five, as many as you want. For this video, we're going to put two on. And uh, to make it actually work, Josh do as well. For the sake of viewing pleasure, if it needs any more than two, I'll do it off camera, it's fine. Right. Once again guys, I'm just going to pick this up and just show you the dabbing process. Very bit boring video, but you know what, it is what it is. It's part of the... Uh... We promised right at the beginning of this project that everything we did, we'd document. So, uh, well... If that means painting an engine blue, if... we're going to paint an engine blue, right? Yep. Exactly. So like, watch how he's dabbing it, guys. Nice little dabs, leaves the paint in place. Then we're gonna flip the engine around and just do the other side. And then we're good to go. We're gonna give it 24 hours and then we're gonna strip all the masking tape off. It'll be lovely. I say, it's a, it's a little bit of a bittersweet pill, really, because you'll make a really nice job of the engine. And then by the time you've got core plugs in it and a sump engine on it and, and sump. engine mounts and all that and by the time you've nested it into the back of the GT40 you're never going to see it anyway no but we'll know it's done right so that's that there we have it guys so right I'm going to pop this on the side and then we're going to speed this up guys today this video is going to be a very fast video but you know what let's not fill you for a 15 minute video for nothing Let's just get this thing painted. Run music! Beginning of this video it was mostly blue and now it is all blue. Blue blue. Guys, thanks for watching another episode on Make or Break. We have basically given it two coats. Josh is going to do three more coats. And um, for, for us, a five coat is enough, you know. Just layering it on there, making it nice. This car is going to look amazing. Going to have amazing aluminium um, cylinder heads. We're going to have a beautifully painted sump. This car is going to be something special. I'm thinking about painting the sump also. Ford Blue, with a nice gasket between it, it looked quite nice, yep. or I might even paint it black, it depends how I feel, but guys, thanks for watching another episode, it's been short and sweet, but guys, we're about getting it delivered to you guys, see you next time, see you guys. So Josh, when I was out, I yeah. believe something got delivered. Uh, it's dark, it's yeah. very well, late at night. I was out as well, and I got back, and I went to go and put a car in one of my car park spaces, so I say car park, yard spaces, yep. and I happened to notice that there was two hunks of junk that were here, and they weren't here when I left. Hunks of junk you hunks went with? Hunks of junk, yeah, one of them's red. No, so, so guys, oh my god. So you've bought this? I, I, I bought this. You've bought this? I did. Right. Okay, what's the story with it? This is probably I a... I like the window tint. The, the moisture, hashtag moisture. Someone's been nuking in the kooking. How how do you get in? Down there. Oh, well, there is a... I believe. On these. Yeah, there you go. Oh! 
So the interior is quite nice. She's a gated manual. Um, it's it's suffered. So the steering wheel is so cool. So bad, it's good. Wow. The roof panel needs some. The roof panel needs some attention. And it, the um, this you know what? someone's painted this bit black, which as is far, good. As far as these go. As far as shit, fake supercars. It's shit and fake and not a supercar. Yeah. So what? Just tag Scott Rarossa in it. It's bound to be right up his street. Oh yeah, baby. This is so awful that it needs a good clean. It's all here. It's complete. Where else did we buy? Uh, we bought a an MR2. This is a real, genuine fake Ferrari. Oh! I like these. The Ferrari do those, but they're optional. <laughs> they're genuine, genuine fakes. And we bought this. Oh! Uh, there's lots of bits missing. Missing or I just? I don't know if they're missing. They might be in there. <sighs> I mean, that's that good, isn't it? Your latch doesn't really work. I noticed that straight away. There we go. I need to look at that. Look, much like the other. Oh! Lines. I mean that's terrible. Why would you? Why would you do that? Would you it's a do? real, genuine, fake Lamborghini. <laughs> it's genuinely fake. Oh, guys. Is it an LP6 fakie? <laughs> <laughs> the badge is very LP6 fakie. <laughs> <laughs> guys, see you next week. We're gonna. What we're we gonna say? Ferrari 35 fake. And Lamborghini Mercy Lago LP6 Fakie. <laughs> See you next See you time. Next time. Quick reminder, hit that subscribe button, the like button, and then the bell button. So you get alerts when we release new episodes and follow us on social media too for extra stuff and more alerts about videos we're releasing, which at the moment is every Sunday and the odd Wednesday too. Bye for now.